In today's tutorial, I will show you how to deploy a MERN app to Railway. This is what the final result will look like. You will be able to access both your front end and back end at a domain similar to this that Railway will randomly generate for you. To start, we will go to the Railway website. Go ahead and create an account if you don't have one already. Once you're signed in, this is what the homepage should look like. Click on the button that says start a new project. If you don't have your MERN app uploaded to GitHub, go ahead and do that. Once it's on GitHub, just click the deploy from GitHub repo. On this page, you should see a list of all the GitHub repos that Railway has access to. If you don't see your MERN app listed here, just click on configure GitHub app, scroll down, and you can either select all repos or you can only select certain repos. I've just selected only certain repos and I specifically have selected just my MERN stack app. Once you've selected either option, just click save. I already did that, so I won't be doing that right now. Once you hit save, you should now be back on this page and just click deploy from GitHub. And now you should see your app here. Select the GitHub repo. Once you're on this page, I will now add some environment variables before we deploy. Also, just as a note, the structure of my MERN stack app is that I have both my front end and back end in the same repo. So I have one folder that's called client that has all my front end files. And then I have another folder called server that has all of my back end related files. But even if you have both your client and server in separate repos, you can still follow the steps I'm about to show you to deploy your MERN stack app. Going back to railway, I will now set up my environment variables by clicking add variables. Here you can specify all the environment variables that you need for your MERN stack app. I will be deploying my back end first and I only have one environment variable, so I will just specify it here. Once you're done with this step, just click Add, then click on Settings. Here, you can configure the settings of your deployment, such as which branch you want to deploy. Scrolling down, I will now specify my root directory as my server folder because I'm deploying my backend first. If you have both your backend and frontend in completely separate repos, then you will not have to do this step. But because mine are in the same repo, I will have to specify which directory I want to deploy as either my front end or back end. And since I'm deploying my back end first, I will just select my server folder and then I'll make sure to save this change. If we click the deployments tab, we should now see our latest deployment. We should now see green letting us know that the deployment was successful. If we click on settings, then scroll down, then click generate domain. It should now generate a random URL where we can access our back end at. Clicking on a link, I can now see a hello world message letting me know that my backend was successfully deployed. Now we will repeat similar steps to deploy our front end. We can go back to railway and just go back to the dashboard and click new project, deploy from GitHub repo. Select the front end of your MERN stack app if you have it in a different repo. If not, just select the same repo as before. Click add variables to add your environment variables. I am only using one environment variable for my front end, so I will just populate it now. Once you have populated all your environment variables, there is one extra one that you need to add, and that is the node options environment variable. So I will add it now, and so the variable name will be node options, just like you see here. And for the value, just paste in this value that you see here and click add, then click settings and scroll down all the way until you see root directory. And because both my front end and back end are in the same repo, I would need to specify where my root directory is for the front end. In this case, I'll just type in backslash client because that's where my front end files live and then hit save. Then we can click on a deployments tab. Now that my deployment is complete, we can click on settings, scroll down and click generate domain. Clicking on a link, you should now be able to see the front end of your MERN stack app. That is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.